Hello everyone, welcome to Birch and Lily. My name is Amanda and this is my video log, blog, whatever you want to call it, about knitting and cross stitch. Today is January 7th, 2020. Oh my goodness, Happy New Year. Um, I can't believe it's 2020, it's kind of insane. Um, but yeah, this is all about knitting and cross stitch. If you have any questions about what I talk about, all my show notes are down below in the description. If I miss something though, please feel free to let me know and I can help you out with any questions that you have. And as well, there are two places that you can find me on the internet other than here on my YouTube channel. The first is on Instagram at birch.and.lily and the second is on Ravelry at Birch and Lily. This is weird. <laughs> I haven't recorded in a month. Um, I did my last podcast like the beginning, end of November, not the beginning, the end of November. And then I kind of took a Christmas break. Um, I was doing Vlogmas. I will be the first to admit I failed miserably. I did fine while we were home and then we went to Canada to visit family and it just didn't happen. And I'm not going to apologize for that because I was spending time with family and I think that's more important than vlogging. So sorry that I didn't get videos up before the second half of December, but I hope you did enjoy what I put up. Um, and yeah, now that it's 2020, I don't have tons of big crafty plans. Um, I did go through all of my whips, my standing whips for knitting. Um, a couple days ago and I did end up frogging two projects just because I wasn't feeling them um, but otherwise I've kept what I have on the needles there's not tons on the needles and I'm happy with that as for cross stitch that little bin back there has cross stitch and then I have the ones I'm working on here I think I'm going to go through those as well in the next couple days and kind of put some on hiatus and kind of just pick the ones that I want to work on, put lots of effort into those so that I can actually get some finishes and kind of switch it out that way. Um, and the other thing I think I'm going to do for 2020 is not buy new yarn. We will see how that goes, <laughs> um, but I want to use up what I have in my stash. Um, there will be a couple exceptions, one being the new Woolberry Fiber Co. Sock Set Club that is starting up this month. I just, I can't, yeah. Those I love and I will buy. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'd like to try and use up what I have. If I'm doing a design and I feel like I need a specific yarn, obviously that's an ex exception as well. Um, but otherwise, I will be using what I have. And I think I want to knit a lot of sock tubes this year. Um, still do the cuff and the toe, but just leave out the heel so that when I need a quick gift, I can just figure out the size of that person's feet, pop in two heels, and the gift is ready to go. So yeah, we'll see if I stick to that, but that is my plan. Anyways, let's jump into finished objects. I have so many finished objects to show you guys. Um, Christmas knitting for me, like I was done obviously all my gifts a while ago, but socks were kind of what I picked up and worked on just because they're easy to work on while you're talking to people or hanging out or it's not a big bulky project that has to be sitting on my lap. So I did a lot of socks. I finished a lot of socks. And you're gonna get to see all of those now. So first finished object, I did it guys. I finished my Desert Vista Dye Works socks for the month of December, which means I knit a pair of Desert Vista Dye Works socks for the whole, one every month for the whole year of 2019. Um, so I did it, I finished the knit along and I will be getting the exclusive skein of yarn for those who finished all 12 pairs, um, which is super exciting. And it's also super exciting that it's done and I can start knitting with some other pretty self-striping yarn that I have in my stash. Um, I love self-striping socks. They seem to work up so much faster than other pairs just because you're excited for that next color. So yeah, I'm so glad these are done. 
I don't think I've woven ends on any of these, all 12 pairs. So <laughs> I have a bin um, up there on one of my shelves that has all of the projects that don't have ends woven in and I need to pull those out and get going so that I can wear them. Uh, yeah, I'm really bad at that. One of my other goals for this year, I guess I didn't say that, but one of my other goals is to weave in the ends right when the project is done and I can't start something else until the ends are woven. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, Desert Vista Dye Works socks. I cast on 60 stitches for these on 2.25 millimeter needles. I did a two by two rib, a afterthought heel, which is always linked down below, and just a wedge toe. So nice and simple, nice and cozy. This colorway is Ashes by Desert Vista Dye Works. I don't think I said that. And yeah, I am looking forward to being able to wear these when my dog stops chewing on socks. <laughs> she literally tries to get them off of your feet now. She's excited. So I don't really want to wear hand knit socks if she's going to eat them. <laughs> but uh, we will see. So still see it. Don't mind that. There's a mess on this side of the desk and this side is all nice and clean for the video. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Desert Vista Dye Works socks. So that is finished pair number one. Pair number two, you have seen before. These are my Cornish Cream Tea Socks. This is a pattern by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade. And I did knit these out of one of my Gilmore Girls Sock Clubs from Mulberry Fiber Co. This one is called I Got Hit by a Deer. And I cast on 64 stitches for these on 2.25 millimeter needles. Just a two by two rib standard heel flap and gusset and a wedge toe and yeah I really enjoyed these this color is so unique it's like yellowy green I guess what do they call that grello and this beautiful brown um and let me show you the front of one of these I'm very happy with how they turned out they fit perfectly um and they have this really unique pattern on the front. Um, it does utilize slip, 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 slip knits and knit four togethers, which I've never done before. Um, and it really wasn't that hard. I was a little concerned, but not a problem. I use Chiago needles to knit all of my socks and they have just enough of a point that I can get them through all of the stitches without like splitting stitches or anything. So uh, yeah, I really didn't have any trouble. And then just a zigzag cable, um, some garter stitch on the sides here. Very happy with these socks. And those will be going into my collection of Gilmore Girls Wolverine Fiber Co. sock set socks. I have a little container of those and I think I have maybe five or six more skeins left of the Gilmore Girls Sock Clubs and then um, they had discontinued that club. So once I have those all finished, let me know what you think. But I think I might do a video just kind of running through each of the socks, the patterns, um, and showing those off before I start wearing them. Because I'm weird that way and they are all sitting nice and fresh and pretty in a little container until I am completely done all of them and then I will wear them. For some reason, I'm not letting myself wear them. But whatever. They look pretty. They make me happy. So yeah, um, those are my Cornish cream tea socks from Curious Handmade. Can you tell I haven't recorded in a long time? I don't know how to hold anything. Um, probably doesn't help that I have my legs crossed because you know, how are you gonna hold stuff on your lap if your legs are crossed? And now I can't even put this sock on the blocker. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. One sock, dropping things, sock two. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen these socks. They are my Cozy Knitter Advent 2019 socks. Uh, so basically how this works, uh, for the past couple years, um, 
I'm blanking on her name, but the lovely dyer behind the Cozy Knitter, I'm so sorry, um, she has done these advent skeins. And basically how it works is there are 24 different colored stripes in this skein, and you're supposed to knit a stripe every day up to Christmas. Um, because I knew I was traveling and I wouldn't be home and wasn't sure if I'd be able to get them finished in time for Christmas, I did do two stripes a day. Um, but it was still super fun and they look so pretty. So here are my Cozy Knitter Advent 2019 socks. I cast on 60 stitches for these. I do find the Cozy Knitter Bliss base is quite plump compared to other sock yarn bases that I have used. So I cast on 60 stitches. I did a two by two rib. This is an afterthought heel again and a wedge toe. And yeah. I can't get over how perfectly this heel lined up. Like, that is exactly where it needed to be. Um, and yeah, otherwise, I'm very, very happy with these. They're nice and long and cozy and warm, and they're gonna get so much wear, and I'm so happy with them. I wish I had, yeah, I don't know where my um, 2018 Advent socks are, otherwise I would pull those out to show you guys as well. But um, I did notice this year that the stripes were a little thicker, because um, my socks definitely did not end up this long last year. Not that I'm complaining, these are wonderful. Um, but yeah, the stripes were definitely a little bit thicker this year. Um, but yeah, very happy with these, and what have I not said, 2.25 millimeter needle. I used a 2.25 millimeter needle. If I miss saying that ever, I'm sure you guys know that I knit literally all my socks on a 2.25 millimeter needle. Um, but I try to say it just in case. Okay, this next finished pair of socks is also knit out of a Woolberry Fiber Co. Gilmore Girls sock set. This one is called Big Fat Happy Sunshine Day. And these are my finished socks. So this pattern is called Armida. It is by the designer Joanna Ignatius. And I cast on 65 stitches for these. Um, yes, you cast on 65 at the cuff. And then I believe the pattern calls to decrease one. So the cuff is 65 stitches, just so it works out lining up nicely with the pattern. And then the rest of the pattern is 64 stitches on the whole leg. Um, and traditional heel flap and gusset, wedge toe. The cuff is mostly a two by two rib, but there is a little spot in the back that I will show you that switches to a one by one so that it matches up with the pattern. Um, the other thing about these socks is that the stitches are distributed differently on the needles. There's actually only, for this size, I think there was only 28 on the back, and then what would that leave on the front? 36 on the front. Um, so the heel flap is a little bit tinier, but it still fits just fine. I was a little concerned about the fit because of that, but I figured let's just do it. The pattern is pretty, and yeah, they fit just fine. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but again, I will take these off the blockers to show you. So here is the front. This gorgeous lacy pattern. And then on the back, so here's what I was talking about where it switches to a one by one. Um, and I believe that that was done so that it the cape or the ribbing lined up nicely with this lace pattern that runs down the back and then there's just ribbing on either side of it. I find the ribbing really helps because the lace is quite loose. It makes for a looser sock but that ribbing really sucks it in on the back and then the sock fits just fine. Um, so I'm very happy with these and look how pretty they look once they're blocked. I have lots of photographing to do when I'm done this. Um, I haven't been posting on my Instagram super well over Christmas, so now I have lots of pretty finished sock pictures to catch up with on Instagram, so I'm really excited to take a picture of these. And I have one final pair of finished object socks. 
Um, these have not been blocked yet or and woven in. I realized I had no socks blocked for this episode last af yesterday afternoon and I only have two blockers in my sock size so I picked two to block and this pair will just have to wait. Um, but these are my first snow socks by Tabitha Gandhi and I will pop them on the blockers. So pretty. Oh my goodness. I love these so much. Once they're blocked, they're gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Um, so these socks, I don't know if you remember last year, I participated in the Hey Sister Yarn Co. Ugly Christmas Sweater Sock Knit Along. Um, and so this is the pair of socks that Tabitha did at, designed for this year's Ugly Christmas Sweater Sock Party Knit Along thingy majiggy. Um, so this yarn is Hey Sister Yarn Co. They dyed it specifically just for the knit along and they still unfortunately are not dyeing yarn full time, but um, they wanted to be able to continue this knit along so they dyed up some yarn for this. Um, none of the colorways had names, they just came in a big set. Um, but there's this gorgeous color work and I don't know if you can tell that these triangle sections are actually knit in seed stitch. I've never done color work in seed stitch, but it's actually really easy and it looks really pretty. Um, and then this is just typical color work here with a mosaic heel flap, mosaic knitting, so cool. It was time consuming and I'll be honest, I got kind of bored, but the effect of it is so neat. So it was well worth the time when they were done. Um, but I cast on 64 stitches for these as well. Um, there was some finagling so the color work fit, um, some stitch count changes throughout the socks, but I ended on 64 stitches for the foot. Um, like I said, heel flapping gusset with mosaic knitting. This is just a typical wedge toe. And I knit these on 2.25 millimeter needles. So, yeah, I'm so happy with these. I can't wait until I have the ends woven and they're blocked because they're gonna look even prettier when they are blocked. Um, oh, this is a one by one twisted rib. The pattern calls just for a one by one rib, but I find mine looks really sloppy. So I switched to a twisted rib so that I was happy with the look of that. Um, and yeah, this pattern is available on Ravelry now. It is not a mystery knit along, of course, anymore. It is just the pattern itself. So if you like these, you can grab the pattern on Ravelry. Okay, so that is all of my knitting finished objects. I told you I had a lot of socks and I have a couple more socks to show you guys. These were the final two pairs that I started on my Christmas vacation and they are in various stages of completion and then i also have a new design to show you guys so let's jump into the socks and get those done so the first pair that i have been working on is in a bag by birch grove you all know these are my typical go-to sock bags um and i'm knitting these out of oh this poor ball got beat up Knit Picks Felici in the colorway Raspberry Beret. This was a gift from my sister for Christmas, which was perfect because we went to see the new Star Wars movie and I realized I didn't have any stockinette socks to knit at the movies. So I quickly cast on the cuff out of these or out of this yarn and, oh gosh, what is going on here? It seems I pulled out the needle, but it's still attached to, this is weird. Oh, 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 okay, one sec. Okay, so I'm in the middle of a row on these. Um, and what happened was when they got shoved in the bag, one of the needles got pulled out. <laughs> but this is what I was able to get done in the movie. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And I have to say, for Knit Picks Felici, these colorway or these stripes are all very different, which I'm impressed with, because I have found 
that a lot of times you'll get two stripes close to each other that look really, really similar and you can barely tell the difference. But I'm very happy with these. So I did a two by two rib on these. I actually cast on 64 stitches um, just because I find Felici is a little thin and I didn't want them to be too snug. So I cast on 64 stitches for these and I'm just gonna knit a nice big long tube and put an afterthought heel in after, I think. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm really enjoying these. The yarn is beautiful. Thank you, Kayla. I don't think she watches this, but my mom will see it and she can tell her, I guess. But yeah, I'm very happy with these. Um, and then the other pair of socks that I have on the needles are, surprise, surprise, another pair of Woolberry Fiber Co. Gilmore Girls socks. And they are also in a bag by Birch Grove. This is my cute little wintry one. And I need a sock blocker for these because one pair is, or one, not the pair, one sock is done out of the set. So this sock pattern is called Curiosity and Opportunity. It is a pattern by Hohi Locatelli. And I cast on 64 stitches on 2.25 millimeter needles for these as well. Uh, this colorway is called Pop Tarts Are Pop Tarting. Like I said, it is from the Gilmore Girls series of sock sets from Mulberry Fiber Co. So it is a Gilmore Girls quote. Um, these socks have a one by one rib. I believe again that this pattern called for just a one by one rib, but I did convert it to a one by one twisted rib so that I was happier with how the ribbing looked. And there are these beautiful, what would you call it? It's not a slip stitch. Um, anyways, really pretty. It's pulling a yarn over over a couple stitches. Um, I don't want to give too much away though because it's a paid for pattern. Um, and then there's a stunning cable running down the front, um, which I will show you in a sec when I take these socks off the blockers. Um, so yeah, 64 stitches, twisted rib. I need these on 2.25 millimeter needles. Typical heel flap and gusset, wedge toe. Let me pull these off the blockers. So look at that cable. And it's gonna look so much prettier once these are blocked. It looks gorgeous now, but once these are blocked, oh my goodness. Um, and they fit perfect. They're snug, but not too snug. They don't stretch out too much when they're on my feet. I'm very, very happy with these. It's a gorgeous pattern. Would highly recommend knitting them, especially if you love cables like I do. Um, so yeah, first sock is finished and I'm pretty close to finishing the second sock. I think I have maybe half of a repeat left and then I'll be able to put in the toe. So yeah, the heel flap and gusset are in and yeah, I'm working away on these and loving them. Um, and what I meant to say earlier, but I can say it now, um, I asked for a Kindle for Christmas um, to read books on, obviously, but also because I learned that you could put patterns on it. And I hate reading off of an iPad or my phone screen. I find it hurts my eyes quite a bit, um, but a Kindle Paperwhite looks like a piece of paper. So I have been putting my patterns on there and reading them off of it, and oh my goodness, I love it. I love reading off of paper and it's wonderful and I have tons of patterns over there that are printed off, but I love that I can save paper <laughs> and we don't have a printer here actually at home. So I always had to say to my husband, hey, could you print this off to, for me while you're out and about doing stuff? Um, Cause we only have one car as well. But now I can just drag it over onto my Kindle and start knitting right away. So I'm very, very happy with that Christmas present. Um, so this pattern has been on the Kindle and I swear it makes me knit faster. Less page flipping, cause I just press on the screen and I'm very happy. So those are my curiosity and opportunity socks. I think Amazon is here. I hear some beeping outside, but they'll just leave the package. Hopefully they don't ring the doorbell. And final work in progress for knitting. 
apparently this is the birch grove project bag episode because there this is also in a birch grove bag this is their large size and i am designing a new shawl pattern um it is going to be a triangle shawl i don't have much in progress right now i literally just have this but the whole pattern is mapped out i know what i'm doing and i just need to knit it now so that is the start of it i will show you guys my colors i'm not going to give away anything else just yet um just in case i change my mind <laughs> but this here is rosewood so that is the one i'm knitting with right now then we have cayenne this is winter bloom and this is gonna be fun to hold this here is aubergine so that is kind of what I'm planning to use for this shawl we will see as things go along because I changed my mind a lot but um, these colorways are all from Ottoman Indigo on her is it basic sock sorry classic sock on the classic sock base so I'll probably be working on that for a while um, the plan is for it to be nice and big and cozy so we shall see um, but yeah I've been enjoying I guess I've only really been working on it for a couple days so far um, but I've been really enjoying it and I hope you guys will enjoy it too once it's released okay that is all I have for knitting if you don't like socks, I'm so sorry. Um, I will have more stuff cast on soon. Like I said, it was just easiest for me to travel with socks. They take up the least amount of space. And so that's what I did. And now that I'm home, I'm ready to cast on all the things with stash yarn, of course. Um, but yeah, let us jump into a little bit of cross stitch. So again, there were only really a couple things that I worked on cross stitch wise since I was traveling most of December. Um, so I picked two projects that I really wanted to work on that I haven't done in a while, and that is what I worked on. So the first one here is Love Abide. Um, this is a pattern by La Di Da, and I have it in a pretty southern bag, like always. And let me pull it out. This is what I have going. So, I think the last time I had this pulled out, I was just working on the very beginning of the grass here, on this side. I don't think I had the houses done, or any of the sidewalks, or anything like that. So, I feel like I've made quite a bit of progress. This tree is not finished. I got really bored of doing straight stitches, so I gave it a break. Um, but these two houses are done. That little brown thing in the middle is the tree. Um, so I stopped it there because that is basically the page end. Um, so I have a couple more houses on this side, one more tree, a couple flowery things, and then I will be able to move onto the tree, the big tree portion at the top of the pattern. Um, one thing I did notice when I was working on this, apparently I was feeling exceptionally ambitious when I started this and... I did the thing in the numbers there where you change the color of the two numbers that are for the year that you finished stitching it in. So it says 19, <laughs> but it's 2020 now and this is not done. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna just leave it and say that's when I started it or if I'm going to rip those out and change it to 20. I guess we'll see how much floss I have left at the end and kind of decide from that, I think. Um, now, where's my pattern? I can't remember what fabric I'm using. But the pattern should say... No, I'm definitely not using that. Let me grab... It should say in my little cross-stitch notebook. One sec. Oh, dang it. I think I brought that downstairs. I'll leave a note down below of what fabric I'm using. I am using all of the called for colors, though. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. It's been really fun. And this fabric was not searched, 
but my lovely mother-in-law searched it for me and the color she had in her machine was pink so it searched in pink <laughs> um but i'm very thankful that she did that for me so my fabric doesn't start to fall apart because let's be honest i'm gonna still be working on this for a while <laughs> And the other thing that I made progress on is my Let It Snow Bungalow. This is a pattern uh, from Hands On Design. It is housed in another southern bag. Can you tell I like floral? I love floral. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful pattern. It goes along with the series that I've been working on. I have Summer Done, um, which I believe is the Rose Cottage, and then I have Fall Done which is Sunflower Manor. Um, so this is the winter one. I'm stitching this on 28 count black Lugana with all of the call for threads. And that's what I have done. I think last time I showed this, all I had was the hat on the snowman. So I have got quite a bit done. Um, I found I worked on the other project a little more just because it's easier to see at night. Um, but I did put a couple solid days into this and I feel quite accomplished. And I'm not concerned that it wasn't done for Christmas because there's no snow here where I live. Um, there was snow back home in Canada, but there's no snow here. So I don't feel like I need this up anyways. And my fall one's still up because fall is my favorite season and it's pretty. <laughs> so that is my progress on that. And I do still have my um, his eyes on the sparrow pulled out. I haven't worked on that yet since I got home, um, but I realized it's because I hate that Q-snap. So I did take the project off of the Q-snap. So the frame has probably changed. I'm definitely crooked. <laughs> oh my word. So I just had the biggest panic attack ever because my photo app crashed and it looked like my video hadn't saved and I thought I was gonna have to sit and record everything all over again, but it appeared. So I think I stopped around, or it stopped around where I was talking about my, his eyes on the sparrow. So yeah, I hate the cue snap on that so much. Um, so I took it off the cue snap. I do realize that the stitches will look a little bit different now that I'm stitching it in hand, but I haven't got that much done, so I'm not worried about it. If I had a lot more done, I would be a lot more concerned, but I really only have, I think, four motifs done. So I know I will work on it and be a lot happier working on it with it not on the cue snap. So I will be doing that. I have some yarn caked up to cast on, a couple more socks. And yeah, I'm really excited to be back home and have my knitting space, my pretty knitting room, which I organized. I got a label maker for Christmas too, and I labeled everything. It's wonderful. I love feeling organized, so that is great. And yeah, I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful holiday season, a wonderful New Year's. Um, I hope going back to work or whatever you do hasn't been too stressful for you and I'm really off-center <laughs> um, but yeah I really hope you had a lovely time and thank you so much for coming back and joining me again since I was gone for a month um, I will be back to a regular recording schedule of every two weeks again and yeah, I am looking forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.